your next comedian, I cannot wait. You're gonna love her. Please make a lot of noise for Gina Hyena. <laughs> What's up? I'm Gina Hyena. It's a stage name, believe it or not. Yeah. It's a stage name because my last name is Italian and it sounds very Italian. So I don't say that shit into a microphone because I'm not a fucking rat. I'm half Italian, half plastic. Only two more surgeries and I'll be able to register as a sex robot. Pretty exciting stuff. Sounds fun, but I think it's kind of bullshit. I think it's kind of bullshit that I have to keep going under the knife every year so I can retire as a housewife. <laughs> when like all my grandmother's generation had to do was just get slapped around every once in a while. <laughs> I just told you I'm Italian. Don't shame my culture, okay? You already took my holiday. Yeah. And that, it's, it sounds fucked up, but I'm like, come on. I'd rather be like roasting like a rotisserie chicken and like a house dress than like getting on a Zoom call. Like, I'll be honest with you. Lost you guys on that one. Okay, cool, cool. No, it's, <laughs> it's fucked up. I like, I'm still single. I'm turning 35 this year, which is like the grossest thing about me. <laughs> so I have to keep updating this shit every year like an iPhone. <laughs> Cause I've never been married, no kids. And at this point, my dad wants me to get cream pied so bad. <laughs> it's like embarrassing at this point. Like the last time I went to go see my dad, he was like, I really wish you would come visit me alone. I was like, thanks dad, that one didn't hurt at all. <laughs> he was like, no, he was like, he just wants a grandkid so bad. He was like, I don't even care if you get married anymore. I was like, Italian Catholic father, that story switched up real quick. <laughs> real M. Night Shyamalan twist on that one, Tony. <laughs> no, he's, it's kind of pathetic. He was like, I will help out financially. Like, I will help raise the kid. Like, I will help whatever you want. Isn't that so sweet, you guys? Yeah. My dad's so cute. He thinks I've never been pregnant. <laughs> I love going back to Texas and doing that joke just to flex on him a bit. <laughs> then I have to leave through the back door because that shit's scary. No, I love how Texas banned abortion the same week that we pulled out of Afghanistan and we learned we don't know how to pull out. <laughs> this sounds like a trap to me, you guys. I don't know about you. I do think it's gonna be a good year though. I do think it's gonna be a good year for me to trap a man. <laughs> because true story I just got a new apartment in New York new apartment off market completely true story it was off market because one of Tiger Woods ex mistresses used to live there and I was like I need this apartment it has all the good pussy energy and my friend was like it sounds like it has all the home wrecker energy and I was like bitch we're saying the same thing <laughs> potato potato come on no, I love that story. I don't think we talk about it enough how poetic it was that Tiger Woods' ex-wife came out swinging with a golf club. I love it. It's like a Martin Scorsese movie. Like, put some Elvis on slow behind that scene. Like, the fucking audacity, right? To use, like, the same instrument that bought her that beautiful life and, like, attack him with it. I love it. Oh, my God, I love it. I wish like all these billionaires marriages act like ended like that. Like Bill Gates ex-wife like hit him with a computer. <laughs> Grimes hits Elon with a Tesla. <laughs> Bezos' ex-wife just hits him with like narcissism and human suffering. <laughs> Gotta love it. No, it's tough for me to date because I'm really old school and like I don't know, I can't get with this new like male feminist movement. I don't like all these guys fucking chatting. I don't like all the sharing their emotions and shit. It makes me uncomfortable. No, I'm old school. Like I really like the 90s feminism. I like the like TLC, like set your ex-boyfriend's house on fire feminism. I like that shit. I don't like this whole like, we're all equals. I'm an ally. I'm like, bro, we're not equals. Like, 
if I start masturbating on the bus, people are gonna throw money at me. <laughs> Well, I don't want to you guys try it. <laughs> it's a joke, you guys. I would never ride the bus. <laughs> now, if you want to see the biggest evidence men and women aren't equals, look at our sex toys. Like, female sex toy looks like a fucking bop it. That shit has a lot going on. Like, one thing's vibrating, the other thing's manipulating. I'm like, do not look in my top drawer. You... <laughs> Your confidence is gonna drop like Bitcoin. Like, you are not gonna be able to compete with that. That's how you know we're so different. Like, female sex toy is so complicated. So many things going on. Male sex toy just wrong end of a flashlight. Sometimes it's just a sock. You guys are pretty simple creatures. No, it's, it's tough. I am, I'm trying to settle. I am, I'm trying to date new guys. I actually matched with a full-time magician on Tinder the other day, you guys. That's how well I'm doing, everyone. His name is Magic Mark, thank you very much. Magic Mark is a very confident full-time magician. Because before our first date, this guy seriously texted me and said, hey, just so you know, I'm only looking for something casual. And I was like, yeah, buddy, I got that from magician. I was like, what do you think we matched? And I called up all my friends and family and was like, found him. <laughs> Get ready for the wedding, you guys. There's gonna be doves everywhere. <laughs> the way this guy literally phrased this text though is he seriously said, I just wanted to be honest with you. I just didn't want to lead you down a deceptive path. And I was like, buddy, isn't that your fucking job? <laughs> like, Let's be honest, magic is just gaslighting with eyeliner at the end of the day. Still gonna fuck him though. Still gonna fuck him because he's got face tattoos and I'm stupid. Gotta do it, it's like catching a Pokemon, you know? You get that opportunity, I'm like, anybody got magician yet? And I can't wait, it's gonna be so fun. So different, right, to fuck a magician? Oh. Like, I'm gonna blow him and I'm gonna be like, Mark, did you finish? <laughs> and he's gonna be like, check behind your ear. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for